Hello, uh, welcome to the 8th video of the FLTK REST uh, series. Uh, the last video we've seen how to direct uh, panic messages and errors to dialog boxes instead of uh, crashing the application or just uh, printing to uh, stood out or stutter, uh, which is better for uh, uh, user friendliness of your GUI application. Uh, let us uh, now actually create our own uh, custom uh, dialog. So this is uh, the application that we have. This is a basic uh, appearance of our application. So when we click this, we get the uh, FLTK basic uh, dialog box. So let us say, for example, we have a, uh, a styled application. So for example, with the uh, scheme, and uh, we have uh, app scheme. Let's say GTK, and the uh, our windows, for example, is uh, white. For example, it's set color white, and uh, let's just see how this looks. Okay, so you can see that the uh, actual. Uh, dialog box, uh, the basic uh, FLTK dialog box appears out of uh, style with our application. So uh, this is going to be a good uh, opportunity to create our own uh, custom dialog box. Uh, let us, uh, for example, give uh, the button also a color. Uh, let us say, uh, I I've never seen the magenta, so just trying our, out some colors. Yeah, let's stick with that. So this is out of uh, appearance here, so uh, we'll create our own dialog box. So uh, let's just create a struct of my dialog. So this is just basically a window. So So like the message dialog, it's going to take an X and a Y. So let's say X is I32, Y32, and a message. And then I'll return my dialog, so self, or my dialog. And So let us say it starts at x and y and 100, 100, and uh, just says dialog, dialog box, turns the dialog, and here we need to add a frame for the message that we're passing. So let us say frame. So this takes the same the, from zero zero and takes the same uh, coordinates as our. Uh, let's say this is one fifty. This also one fifty. This takes the message. Add a button here as well. So uh, let us say uh, one ten. One. Uh, and 8040. This just says OK. And let's uh, put in set callback. So actually, since these are within the uh, this window, so let's say when begin and uh, here and end. This is a dialog window, dialog window, and the callback here just hides the window. Um, let us say one hide. Just check how this looks. Okay, so now we can start 
Oh, we didn't actually instantiate it. So let's add also a convenience method. So it appears something like this. Uh, so let us say we have function, public function, uh, my message, which takes also x and y and a message. And this can be, we don't have to use this, so let us say, um, here, call it my message. Okay, we actually have to call window show. Okay. So we can actually now style the uh, frame as we like. So let us say, for example, this only goes to 100. And here uh, we can well, and set color. We'll have the same color as our application, which is white. And the uh, button here, set color has the same color as our application magenta. You can use hex colors uh, as we've seen in the first uh, tutorial. So we get the same uh, appearance. So this is our own uh, custom dialog box. Uh, if you notice some flickering on Windows, it's because uh, FLTK uses a single buffer for Windows uh, on Windows, so you can actually change this to a double buffer and there a double window, and double window here also. We can also remove the uh, dotted line here, uh, the clear visible focus, if you don't want it. So uh, this has to be before the show call here. So let us say button. Visible focus. We'll do the thing, the same thing with our uh, dialog here. So uh, we have a button. So no data lines, and we can fix all these. Uh, an airframe because uh, the application we used to uh, modify the text of the frame so it was mutable. Here we don't actually need the frame at all. And what else? Frame dialog. We're not using dialog, so we remove this. And no warnings. So this is a panic within the button, uh, which actually uh, is hooked uh, to showing a, uh, a dialog box instead of uh, just showing on the camera line. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, till next time, bye.